Good morning, all my fellow spirited, madcap, stout-hearted, swashbuckling patriots. Just look at this headline from Ruger's. I need mama. I need school. Migrant child stuck in Bosnia appeals to EU. Now, below the picture, it shows a father and two children. One of them appears to be a very young girl with her hand over her face. And the other looks like a boy to me. And the father's holding up a cell phone, maybe on a video conference with his wife. This is the picture they wish to impart the story with. But I've gone through the entire story. You see where it says, I need mama, I need school? That was said by the 14-year-old son. Nowhere in this story, and the multiple pictures in it, does it show the 14-year-old son. Now Europe, Western Europe, has a big problem in that they take a person's word when they claim that they're a young boy. There are many people that have been proven to be in their 30s and 40s who claim to be teenagers. Maybe that's why we never see a picture of this 14-year-old boy saying, I need mama, I need school. Wouldn't it even be more effective if they showed one of these two younger children saying those words? I'm sure they could have coaxed them into saying it, but they never show that picture of the 14-year-old boy. And like I said, what would have been a much better quote if it would have come from these two younger children. Let's break this down a little bit more. They say they are migrants. And like in the U.S., these are illegal immigrants. That's why they're stuck in Bosnia and appealing to the European Economic Union. You see, if they were legal immigrants, let's go back to when the U.S. really wanted a bunch of legal immigrants and made it fairly easy to immigrate to the U.S., even when our borders were a lot more wide open to immigration than they are now, we wanted young, healthy individuals who would help create a better United States. We did not want people who would be a drag on the economy of the United States. So even when our borders were wide open, one of the first things we did before we let them touch foot on American soil was we had them inspected by our doctors. If they looked too sick, too old, or too feeble, they were put back on the boat to Europe. Now this man looks healthy enough, but it says right in the story that they're trying to learn German. Well, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Let's go on with the story a little bit more. 14-year-old Amin Hazam from Iraq. That's right. This family chose to immigrate from Iraq to Europe when a bunch of Arab countries... Well, let's take a quick look. They started out in Iraq. Right about there. Now, that was a very rich Muslim country to the south of them, Saudi. There was a very rich Muslim country to the east of them, Egypt. There was an economically stable country to the west of them, Iran. How about a fairly rich Muslim country to the north of them, Turkey? 
All they needed was the will to work. No, they didn't want to go to any of these countries. Why, they went through Turkey, like I said, a very rich Muslim country, because they don't have much in the way of social services. You must work in that country. They passed through Greece and into, you see the red right there? That's Bosnia, and that's as far as they got. Let's get back to the story. He tried to enter the EU with his family 40 times over the last two years. That's right. They tried illegally to cross the border 40 times. On one attempt, about a year ago, his mother and two of his siblings got through. And they got to Germany, where a great amount of freebies are to be had. I'm sure they've got free housing and they're getting checks from the German government every month to survive. You see, these people don't want to contribute to society. They want to suck off society's teat. They want to suck it dry. But he and his father and two more children were caught by police and sent back to Bosnia. Very good. Let's keep on going on with this story just a little bit more. The family is among more than 8,000 migrants from Asia, the Middle East, and North Africa, mostly Muslim, who are stuck in Bosnia, which since early 2018 has become a transit route for those aiming to reach wealthier EU states. There you have it. Even in the article it reads, they want the wealthier EU states where they can pick up more freebies. But it has become increasingly difficult to cross EU borders and impoverished Bosnia has become a cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac? I'd call it a dumping ground with its ethnically divided government unable to cope. The coronavirus pandemic has seen the EU seal its borders. Well, I guess the Wuhan flu is good for something, leaving the migrants with little hope of entering and requesting asylum. I want to go on just a little bit more, folks. I need mama. I need school. But Croatian police say, Sorry, go back to Bosnia. <laughs> Good on Croatia. The only word I would fault them for saying in that sentence is sorry. They should have just said, Go back to Iraq. You want a complete family? Don't try to suck off the teeth of the EU. Go to Iraq, go to Turkey, try to earn your living there, but don't try to become a leech on Western society. So, for all these illegal migrants trying to get into the EU, and for their sympathizers in the West, you, yeah, you and the horse, you're out in ah.